welcome. And welcome. I'm Dan. I'm Dud. And this is Dudley. and Dumb. <laughs> I'm Dudley. Yeah, you are. I Dud. keep doing. I keep doing that. Dudley. It's, just, it's because I use a a shorter version of my name. I guess. You saying I, I want one of those? No, not I mean, really. I I've called wanna... you Dud my whole life. So. Yeah, but no one else does. So I did like to keep. Does it Robert call you Dud? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I, I wasn't sure. I think, I mean, because, you know, our family, between me, you, and, and, and Bob. And, yeah, Rob. Uh, we've always, it's always been, you know, it's Robert, D- Dudley, Daniel, or, and we've always been Rob, Dud, and Dan. Yeah. And, but, uh, yeah, no one else calls me Dud. I mean, some close pe- friends and family do, but that's, yeah. you know, everyone else, I, I prefer Dudley. Actually, people ask me all part. the time, do you prefer Dud? I mean, not Dud. <laughs> I'm not deadly. Uh, yeah. uh, do you prefer you prefer Daniel or Dan? And I, I I don't have a preference. I I you know I, your only preference is you don't like Danny. I don't like Danny. <laughs> if you call me Danny, I will punch you. Oh, Danny boy! I, I'm no- normally opposed to violence, but I, if it comes to it, <laughs> you, when have you been opposed to violence? <laughs> um, and so uh, yeah, we've always that's just always been the. I mean, my family, a lot of my family, well, I mean, my you guys, my brothers call me Dan, and a lot of my friends call me Dan. Yeah. That's, that's fine with me. I, 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 it used to rub me the wrong way when I first meet new people, and they would call me Dan, or I, I've had a few people call, immediately jumping to Danny, and I'm like, no, no, that's got to stop. Yeah. That's not going to, that, that, that cannot stand. Like, we will not be friends. <laughs> uh, um, so you hear it on here, podcast. Yeah, uh, I just Have called our show, P- our audience podcast. Uh, call him Danny. <laughs> no, I I will quit this podcast and oh, burn it to the ground. I will do it alone. No, <laughs> it'll be just, it'll just me. Be, it'll just called be. It'll just be called dumb. <laughs> it'll be called deaf and dumb. Because we're both deaf and dumb, not yeah. just. Deaf. No, uh, no, no. The implication is that no, no, oh. no, 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 no. The, oh, that d- one of us is deaf and one of us is dumb. But we are both deaf, so I, I, I don't like think the that's the implication at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I came up with the name, so you know, the name's mine, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. What do you mean you don't know about that? You were there when I I pitched the idea for it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're about. <laughs> uh. But, um, uh, but us doing a show is, is kind oh of well the show idea. idea has been long forever yeah but uh <laughs> but the deaf and dumb title was was a recent addition mm-hmm. come up by yours truly yeah yeah I don't know why I cut my own chest when I say that yeah it's kind of weird yeah uh, but so, uh, shall we talk about games now <laughs> oh yeah I guess that's what we're here for right uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I understand you have not been playing anything. This I week. haven't played anything this week. Nothing at all. Well, I played Pit Cross, but that, Cross you know, the, I did the daily challenges yeah. to try to get my pick rights up I, so I can do more, but I'm, that's it. I'm pretty much finished with Pit Cross. Yeah, yeah, you told me about that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a... St- Stale, a stall, a stalemate, 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 stalemate. stalemate. I, I'm in a slow progress because um, I'm at the point where I don't have any more pick rights, and mm-hmm. I have to, you know, do you the, have to the only way to get more is to do the daily challenge. Or, so, or at buy them. Best, I can. I'll if I do the challenge in under two minutes, I can have like thirteen pick rights. If otherwise, I just have eleven. Mm-hmm. And so it's just, uh, just. Takes a while. Uh, in about two days, I'll be able to do uh, um, more stuff. Which yeah. reminds me, I haven't done my daily challenge yet today. Yeah, so. I I have um I as far as the main world, I've finished them all. Yeah, and I've also got all the um, challenges done as well. Mm-hmm. I've been kind of bouncing over to it, just kind of when I'm when I'm waiting for something to load or something. Yeah, and I'll play like the alt world stuff, but. It hasn't been that challenging, and there's no real reward from doing it. And I think I finished all the tiles. That was the big thing I liked the most. Yeah, the I, I thing. have one tile left on the one of the murals. Oh, yeah. The other one's still got a lot. But, yeah. Uh, yeah the, the red one, it's, I have one left. I've completely completed them. Completed, completed them. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's... so. But I did, I did, full disclosure, I did end up spending a little more than 10 bucks on yeah. it. And, See, uh, I haven't not done much. It. I like just ten, spent another what, ten dollars or so. I spent what I had left over. So I, I mean, I probably spent twenty bucks on the game, which is, I think, what it's worth. Probably, let's be yeah. honest. That's I mean, about right. Yeah. Like for a free game, I 
I would have paid twenty bucks to play it. I I liked it, enjoyed yeah. it. I got a lot of play out of it. Yeah. I mean, just kind of casual play. Yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing. I just play it every once in a while. I get usually do either first thing in the morning or as soon as I get you know get back from work or whatever. I'll <laughs> I'll usually do it. Yeah. Uh, then and um, I like it. it yeah. So uh, that's all you played this week. Just, yeah. Well, let me tell you about what I've been playing. Okay. I've been playing Elite Dangerous mm-hmm. still. The flights I, of, I have, there's the so many flight. games, Dudley. There's so many. I have too many games. There's. If I want to play Dark Souls. I want to play some Overwatch more. Yeah, I haven't I played to, either of those this yeah, week. I wanted to play Dark Souls. And we, we worked a lot this week. That, it was yeah, long, that's it was why long, I haven't played anything. Long, busy week as far as work was concerned. So, um,. You know, so I didn't have a lot of time to play, so I didn't get any Dark Souls in. I didn't get any Overwatch in, which I'm kind of disappointed. I got some... I literally spent uh, Saturday doing nothing but playing games, and I spent most of it playing Elite Dangerous, just yeah. because that game's addictive, and I'm getting better at it. That's some of the things I'm learning, kind of figuring some things out, And uh, but it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying the flight control, so much so that I was looking for other games to fly since, around. Yeah, to fly around since uh, No Man's Sky's off a little ways. Um, just to play one, I was thinking I want to play more of a an actual flight. actual flight simulator, yeah. as opposed to with like a, a space game, like with plane. So I currently it's downloading not not it. I started downloading last night. It didn't get finished, but um, it's called DCS World, which I think is stands for Digital Combat Simulator. Okay, and it's 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 a free game. But it's one of those games where you... It's kind of like World of Tanks or whatever. You get a, some free vehicles or you can unlock them. But, but otherwise, you have to pay to buy the extra vehicles. Yeah, so, you, and if you want a, the good it's stuff. A, it's a combat simulator that focuses on aircrafts and stuff. So it comes with, like, two planes, I think, on the free version. So I figured I'd jump in it and try it out, see if I like it. And if I die, decide I like it, I might buy some more planes yeah. in it. But right now, I'm just going to just to try it out. And uh, so that down I haven't played it yet, but it, this week I'll try it out. And then the other game, I new game I played, and I've been thinking about trying it for a while now, and I finally, and it's a free game, another free game, is Hearthstone. Oh, yeah, Blizzard. Hearthstone. Blizzard's And since uh, I've been looking game. at the Blizzard um, Battle.net a bunch, because I'm, you know, with Overwatch and stuff, I looked at Hearthstone's right there, ready for me to download, so I was yeah. like, okay, so I downloaded it, um, I guess Friday night, and uh, jumped into it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's hard though. It starts off pretty simple. It kind of, it, I love the tutorial because it it starts off with the basic stuff, work it out, and then uh, it it yeah. kind of just walks you through and adds a little thing at a time to get you the up to speed on what all how the game works. And then it suddenly it becomes really hard. Yeah, <laughs> because suddenly it's like, oh yeah, okay, now you you've got your training wheels off. You're you're uh, you're gonna play. How do I? And even then, I I can see I'm still playing AIs. I'm not even playing. I'm just been trying to unlock all the characters that you can get by playing. Yeah. And you can buy other characters, and you can buy card packs and stuff. But it's one of those, you know, you, it's that premium stuff. But I'm liking it a lot. I like the tone of it. It's kind of silly, but it's kind of fun. And uh, but it, it's it's a it's a deck building game. That's yeah. All. I mean, it's a digital deck it, builder. Yeah. And I, I know some people who played it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, our, our buddy Justin. Yeah, Justin plays uh, it. He, he just, plays it. He, he, ju- he just won like a, a local tournament, a little local tournament, I think, or some kind. Yeah, he's I, going I to regionals. Or yeah, something. going or to some. He- he can go to me. I he, assume he, he's he, going. I, I don't or know. Doing. I don't it. know how it works. But I don't he, know if you didn't any, win. I don't know if there's any going. You yeah. might just play it online. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. Um, but but he he did he did win, and he's always talked about it. And that, and that was part of the reason that kind of reminded me also. of it. like, oh, I should. I keep thinking about checking it out. And it's a free game. I mean, yeah. And you know, it's like a gig download, so it's like nothing, and you just yeah. get it and play it. And I like I, I I like. The concept of deck builder games, I just never had the time or you know to get into most of them. I I had the basic set for um, Netrunner. Yeah, and it can be our, our buddy Josh and and Gary and and uh, Jackson and, and Dorsey. No, they play Netrunner. They all play Netrunner. Yeah, like, hell, they were they were in Netrunner for like from the beginning, and they own like all the cards. It's ridiculous how many cards, which is really cool. And I watched them play, and I'm like, man, well, that looks like so much fun. But I can't. I I don't have time to invest. To, it's and almost like a time and money to get into it. It's almost like a subscription kind of thing where you're like it is. every it's month exactly there's new cards, yeah. or, and you could buy yeah. you know buy new cards, yeah. and you just every month. And they uh-huh. did that for a yeah, while. I don't. Cards. I assume they're still. I don't I think don't they're. Doing it I don't know. It, and it's weird because we always talk about uh, Josh. 
being like a two week cycle guy mm-hmm. where he plays something that's all he plays for two weeks. Yeah. But n- the only thing I've ever seen him play like n- nonstop for a long time because it was probably a good solid year where he was always into the net runner. Like yeah. he they were he was always playing and always yeah. went down for a game and always working on his deck. So I don't know if he has been since he's moved and I don't know if he's got someone to, if he found someone to play with and maybe that's it. But uh um, yeah, I, probably because it, it is every month yeah. or something new, and you're yeah. they're adding more to I, it all the yeah, time. Yeah, I like it, and I played it. I have, I like I said, I had the starter stuff, and I played with you and the, and the, um, Trey. He has the base set too. And I I haven't got into it. Yeah, I don't I? I like it a lot. I just, I just can't get into it. I can't. I, all my friends are way more fr- way more advanced in it than I am, yeah. and I wish I'd got in at the beginning of it, and I could have grown with them. But I, I, I'm so far behind. I don't have the time or the money to get into it as far as they are. My, my problem was is that every time I played, I felt like it didn't matter what I did. I don't. I didn't see how I could have won. Yeah, and that was you couldn't a wrap your head around it. Well, it, I don't know. It's just like. I, I was like, oh, okay, I lost. I know, and I don't I know, know some what of the games I could have done. And I, played, I know some of the games you and I played, you just had bad draw, draws. And like I was the draws just like, there was didn't work nothing out I could. Yeah, there was just And no- also, <laughs> when you're. And as with any card deck, deck mode, I mean, it all comes down to how you build your deck. Well, if you're working with just the base deck, you and that's all you have, it's kind of hard to, to tweak that. And then you get a bad draw, and, and you don't. And that's the thing, that's why I'm learning the Hearthstone, is like, I just started kind of getting into tweaking the decks. Because I was just playing with this, the base set. And then I got to a point where I couldn't beat the AI to unlock the other characters. So I was just like, I, I can't do this. This is really hard. And I kept getting all a little frustrated because I was like, oh, I can't win. There's no way I could win this. And then I realized, oh, I need to actually go in and, and tweak my deck and start pulling. To, I realized I had a lot of, no, most of the time I had a lot of high value cost cards as opposed and then not very many low value cards so the early game i couldn't do anything because i couldn't afford anything so i had to go through and tweak stuff and now i'm doing a little better i also changed character i was using the um uh jaina who's the start one you start with and so i was trying to i i switched to thrall i've been trying thrall and uh i know this means nothing to you but uh it it's pretty fun i highly recommend it you should check it out okay. again it's free Mm-hmm. So, you know, you don't have to you don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. Yeah, that's always and nice. And I think you would like it. I think you would get into it more than they like Netrunner or something. And it's because it's digital, it's a little easier to kind of parse. Yeah. But yeah. So that and Elite Dangerous have been what I've done. I spent yesterday all I did was play those two things, and I almost cracked open Overwatch, but an update went out, and I haven't up, I haven't updated it. So yeah, I, I'd like to play Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Uh. Um, oh, uh, today, as in it's Sunday, this go, the day at, the day before this podcast goes live, uh, War Room Two, the app for War Machine, came out. Yeah. Uh, it it well, it the app came out already. It just wasn't live. You couldn't do anything on it until to until you know this Sunday. Uh, and I spent this morning trying to get it working because you know I I wanted to see the cards. You could get, buy the new cards, the digital version of all the new cards, and. I was a little annoyed because, one, they didn't, like, I have, they had War Room, which was their first app, which is what I used to, I used it to mostly build my armies and plan out how I want to play. Yeah. And that's what it's mostly for. You can also use it to actually play the game, but I've never liked having a digital screen. I like having the cards laid out in front of me. But anyway, um, well, instead of just updating that one for the Mark Three. They came up with a new app. They came up with a new app, and I'm like, okay, fine. But that means you have to buy the decks again. Which, if you, yeah, so like wait, the you, digital decks. Yeah, the digital decks. Oh, like you, you can open the app and you have the free cards, which isn't that many of them. It's just a handful of them. And then you, you buy each each faction's deck, and like it was like six bucks for each one of them. And so you know, I have I bought Protectorate and, and Mercenary. That's the only two decks I bought. Yeah. Now in the so new one, the when you log you in, when you log in, if you've already bought them, you get a discount, which is at six dollars, which is the original price. So. And so you have to buy them again. You have to buy them again. It's a little annoying. Wait, so wait, it's they're new cards though, right? Yes, yes, the updated. Okay. I mean, it's the updated, you know, rules. I mean, it, I it, guess that kind of makes sense. It'd be <sighs> like if you bought the new cards. They have physical cards. Yeah, right? I have. I've ordered them. They, they're going to come in toward the end yeah. of the month. It's just, yeah. Dude, I guess it kind of makes sense. It is yeah, new cards. Yeah. It's just more 
I don't know. I, I and, and and you can argue. Like I don't know. The whole thing. Gary and I were talking about it. It feels like they're just squeezing as much money out of you as possible. Probably. Which I, I mean, from a business point of view, I understand because they have, they put more time and they need they have to make make their money off it. But at the same time, it's a little annoying. It yeah. mostly. <laughs> And I understand it. Like on a, on a, and once I kind of thought at first, I was just kind of annoyed. I'm like, why? I already, you know, the mercenary deck. I didn't buy that long ago. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I, you know, I've, I had to spend another six dollars. Like again, I already owned it. It the price actually got bumped up to like eight dollars. So you actually save two dollars discount. I'm using air quotes here by owning them already, which means you just pay the original price again. Well, yeah. And, I mean. But, but on the other hand, I can also see why they did it. Because if you're you don't want to up, if you and your friend are fine with the current Mark II rule, rule. set, you don't have to. You you just keep using the old War Room app, and all yeah. that stuff's still there. You if you it doesn't change it doesn't it, kill, it doesn't I you know alienate those people because they didn't update. Yeah. Which is I guess in in from a business point of view it makes sense. And you're like okay you if you don't to have to, you don't possible. have to upgrade you don't have to buy the new card you don't have to get the new app you can just keep playing with what you already have as long as you're, you and your friends you're, you're not going to be able to play in like actual tournaments and stuff if they're yeah. going by updated rules. But you, if you and your friends, that that's fine. Um, so you know, I think Gary was a little annoyed about it, and he was being a little bitter about it. But uh, I can I can kind of understand it from both sides. But but yeah, I I, I also had problems this morning. It took me forever to get it loaded because one, I I don't know if our internet was not working right or if the app was our being annoying. Our internet been kind of crappy yeah. the last day or so. Yeah, so. and so I think it was a combination of the two. <laughs> And I was trying to log and I'm in, sure a lot of people are log into my account too. to save me that four dollars. Yeah. And so I was trying to log in, and I couldn't. It, I couldn't. One, I couldn't remember my password. Mm-hmm. And so I tried a couple of things. I couldn't get it, figure it out. So I just thought, oh, I'll just hit the forget my password and be done with it. And I wouldn't. Lo- the thing just sat there spinning, waiting, mm-hmm. to, waiting to send to send me the email that to reset my password and never sent. So I went online to the, the the web browser version of it to log in there to do it there and i did it three times it never sent me the email hmm. and so then i finally went back and tried another password and i finally yeah. got logged in uh, hang on just a second i think my mic is a little loose uh yeah uh so yeah so it was a little annoying it took me it took me like an hour just to get in and get and then once i got in i was like i don't understand this app <laughs> and I had to, it, it's a <laughs> whole they, new app it's yeah. similar but it also like there's I couldn't figure. It. it took me a little while to figure it out. And finally, bought I bought the two. You know, I bought the protectorate. I bought the mercenary decks for my Cephalix, and I, you know, got them. And then I was tweaking, playing around with trying to make an my army. And I was trying to get my head ha- figure out how the app worked. And I was having a little trouble. But I got there. I was getting there. Uh, yeah. So it's it's cool. I'm excited about the new rules coming out, which is coming soon. I'm not sure what the actual release is. Uh, I know. I thought it was toward the end of the month, but the digital version steps out. So in you theory, could, I could, could deck, start playing. I could yeah. start playing. I, I, I'm my decks will come in later, the physical decks. But uh, in theory, I can I can build armies and I can you know look at all the new cards. Uh, I was a little confused because I the Cephalix had the theme forces rules written on it, but the Protectorate Menara didn't have the theme forces. And the whole thing's kind of build the way building your armies are all based on the theme forces now. And it wasn't. There was no information for them, so I don't know if that they just haven't released that yet or what. So I was playing around with that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So on the news. Yeah, on the news. Well, this uh, week is a big week. Yeah, it's gonna three be starts shoot. today. It well, it's, well, it's this evening. Yeah, it starts it's, this it's, evening, and uh, and I well, I, yeah, it's preliminary. So I think some people today. have stuff today. Yeah. I I don't think it actually starts till tomorrow. I know e well EA, the official. E- I know EA's doing stuff today. Yeah, e- today is, the, like, on Sunday, e- EA started EA Play, which is not technically part of the E3 Expo, yeah, but they're it's, doing a, their it's, own kind of, thing. it's their own little thing separate from it, yeah. and so that started today. Yeah, so and, it kind of started today. Yes, yeah, so it kind of started today, but then E3 actually kicks off tomorrow, tomorrow or today this podcast comes and then, out. Yeah, and it goes all week, so yeah. next week we're going to have a ton of... Oh news. yeah, next week's um, gonna kind of rule. Right now it's just speculation. So, I mean, because everyone's there: Bethesda, well, there, it, Microsoft, Nintendo, Sony, Ubisoft. Yeah. They're all EA is not technically there, but they are. They got their own event. They're yeah. Doing. Um. Yeah. They. Uh. It starts, so we'll have a lot of stuff from oh, yeah, them this week. But there's a lot of little things have yeah. leaked or come out already, or, you know, or rumors of of things are coming. Yeah, we've already talked about uh uh. uh 
uh, oh, what is it? Uh, the uh, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, if supposedly rumors, rumors they're going to be. So know, hopefully we'll hear yeah. about that this week. Yeah, apparently they're they're going to be talking about the, the um, new stuff for for GTA Five, and but also yeah, hopefully Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption 2, or whatever it's going to be called. <laughs> I, I think there was a rumor, too, about a new, another Grand Theft Auto, but I don't know if that was true or not. Oh, I don't know. I, I remember I anything about that. seeing something about that, but I don't know if that was true or if it was just, you know, mm-hmm. made up stuff that someone was but, talking yeah. about. But uh, there's been some stuff that leaked. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Earlier, uh, kinda earlier go... today, I think, or yesterday. Well, the, or... The, earlier, the, like Friday, I think, the, the Titanfall. Titanfall 2. 2. Play single player trailer leaked. Yeah. Apparently, they were doing a test of the streaming and accidentally, and accidentally played it, and uh, so it, it was out there. I didn't see it. I saw. I, I went uh, to watch it, and it had been taken down, of yeah. course. But uh, j- literally right before we came on to do this podcast, I walked over here to j- I went back to it, and they had actually released it. Yeah, uh, they released a trailer, and I watched it, and it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, like the actual thing. It looks like an actual single player game. Well, yeah, as it is. A, to the, it's going to have opposed to the like weird multi- quasi multiplayer ca- campaign thing that was going on in the last one. Well, yeah, it's, the last one it's just a multiplayer. It's game. just That's a multiplayer, just really but it. there is a story going on. It's just in the background, and most people are paying attention to. Yeah, you, most people are just fighting each other. either play the game bit. or pay attention to what the people are saying over the radio. Yeah, and... Uh, and I like Titanfall, too. I, Titanfall, a the lot. First one. I didn't get... A, I got it. I did not buy it, and I played it. I played it pretty good for about two weeks, but then I just... You know, how games are so many, and I, I can't yeah. keep up with them all, and I haven't played it much since. I but, never got it, because, you know, multiplayer... You, it takes... I don't know. Certain you you need to spend certain time devoted. You gotta to it. yeah. You gotta and if you don't, to it. yeah. If you I don't, mean, that's been my problem with Overwatch lately. Yeah, if you don't spend the time doing it, you can't quite get into it, and you can't quite you know. And I just, I didn't even try with Titanfall. I liked. It, I looked. I played it a little bit. I think on yours, mm-hmm. um, or Josh's, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, but I played it a little bit, and it was pretty cool, pretty fun. Like, oh, um, fun. But it was just it's I really never action packed. Yeah, it's very action packed. I but I didn't get it. Yeah. Um, so it's I'm, just because I didn't think I would have time to I'm play it. Really um, intrigued by the you know the single player story looks really cool, and it's it's kind of like it looks like it's kind of like this uh, a boy and his titan kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like got this you know a, a character titan. Yeah. With an AI. And he, his pilot, and then there's this like weird little story, and it looks really cool. It looks like a lot of fun, and so I, you know, not only am I kind of excited about more uh, the multiplayer, and maybe I'll actually play it some more, uh, and but the story actually looks good, and yeah. you know, it, the, the whole theme and the tone of Titanfall is really cool. Yeah, and uh, so. So yeah, that's they, that, they that sh- released. Yeah, so um, that, they released a trailer for that. And they apparently see, EA supposed to be showing off some more Battlefield One stuff. Yeah, there. Well, yeah, there, there's a lot of. I mean, we could go through a list of yeah. all the games they'll be showing. But I, I made a list of all of, the ones I care about. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> the, speaking of leaked games, uh, Dead Rising Four leaked about last week. Yeah, uh, a promotional. Yeah, I saw art. That. I didn't, I didn't look at it, but so most likely that'll played. be announced in E3. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, what else I didn't play there? the last one. I I think I've only played the first one. Um, I played the first one. I th- I think that's the only one I played. I I wanted to play some of the other ones. I never did though. Yeah, um, I liked the first one a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked the tone. It's silly mm-hmm. and silly. absurd. It's I think I played one of the other ones, but I can't remember which one now. Um, but uh. I mean, I'd like to. Wouldn't mind playing. It's fun. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I get so I get so tired of the zombie stuff. I yeah, think. yeah. There's I so many playing. zombie games. There's so many stuff, and I'm like, if it does something interesting and it hooks me, I I'll, I'll play it. But otherwise, I just it to me, it's just all zombies. Yeah, it's not, Dead Rising, I think, did it well, well, because it doesn't take itself seriously. Yeah, um, and it had a so lot of fun, t- a mechanics. lot of absurdity. Yeah. things in it and then it's just fun to play uh and it has the photo app taking thing which i enjoy i kind of like mm-hmm. the you know you take pictures and stuff um i don't know if that was in the other games but the, in the first one it was mm-hmm. um and you, it was kind of a challenge to catch these weird yeah images of things um but I'll, I'll i'll keep an eye on it and see if it looks good on the the fourth one um they also it leaked i think some art for it leaked uh, for Injustice 2. 
Uh, oh, yeah. The, yeah. the DC fighting game. Yeah, I saw that there was a trailer for it. And, and I then, I... yeah, and then they recently re- an- had the announcement trailer and then also the gameplay trailer. Yeah. Um, Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. It oh. looks, it looks like more of the same. Yeah. It looks good. The only thing, that it, the big thing that it seems to add is uh, armor, like all the different, all the... You know, all heroes the have some kind of armor mode. Okay. I don't know if like it's a power up kind of thing, and then hmm. you got armor, and then you can. Why do does it? Superman need armor? I don't know, and that's the kind of thing I was kind of like. Does okay, it protect him from Kryptonite, I guess. Uh, maybe. Um, all all of them get an armor thing from the trailer I saw, mm-hmm. and then I was like, okay, so. It seems like in just the big selling point in Justice Two is more the same, and you have armor now. <laughs> and I'm like, this, okay, this justified us adding a two to the. Well, other here's day. the thing that kind of seems odd to me: they're all very. It looks like they're all made by the same company, <laughs> so it's like, the what same company style? is selling armor that you know <laughs> pops out of their suit uh-huh. and cut, co- you know, re- goes yeah. over it? Which I don't understand how that works, but. Well, also, you, you should contact that company. I mean, they're the only ones to make it. So apparently, they, they all had to. They, they're making a lot of money off heroes uh-huh. just by these plate armor that comes out over their mm-hmm. normal suit. I mean, um, I they like, look cool. So even Batman's, it didn't look yeah, like Batman's Wayne Corp. Going. Maybe Wayne Corp. You know, build all of them. <laughs> Batman's just and Batman a lot just of made money. more money, but he's selling it to the people he's fighting. <laughs> so, no, exactly. So you um, think he would have planned ahead and and put yeah. some bugs in it so he could just <laughs> exploit it? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't yeah, know what's going I, on there. I, it's kind of kind of. It looks cool. I mean, the armor looks cool, I, and they we, you know, Batman looks like it has like a green maybe yeah. kryptonite element to it. Oh yeah. So he can fight Superman better or something. Uh, and but I don't. I just don't. I played it a bunch with Robert. Because yeah. he liked it, and he has it. And, and I have I, it, I just don't play oh, it. Oh, really? I, I well, I got it for have... free in the PlayStation Month yeah. free thing. I, I, uh... I played it a little bit, and then it was just kind of to me. It was just another fighting game with a theme. Well, it's and, made by people made Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and I so. thought that was cool, and I, I liked it, but at the same time, I, I, I don't know. It just the whole thing felt a little silly to me. I don't know why. Well, it, it's, it's you know, it's kind of an Elseworld. Yeah. Story, so yeah. it's not like which is cool, and it's like this whole thing where yeah. Superman, the first one, the Superman, basically had enough and like killed the Joker, yeah. and, and does all, the, and basically he just like fed up and like basically go, okay, I can just end all this, and yeah. starts basically going crazy, and then the yeah. other, Batman and other heroes are basically kind of trying to stop him, yeah. And I don't know how it resolves itself and how the second one, I guess, will continue that story. I guess so, yeah. Um, but. It's interesting. Um, yeah. they, it spawned a I, comic I, book I, series. I, I, from yeah, it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, they have an Injustice comic oh, yeah. that I, keeps going with the, the okay. story, I think. Well, that makes sense. I mean, cross-marketing and yeah. all that stuff. Um, uh, I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed playing it, you know, just as, you know, just hanging out with a, people yeah, and playing it. And, it's a fun and, fighting game. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I thought it was, as far as fighting games go, it was fun. Yeah. But. It, oh, it so didn't. the second one will probably be just as good, yeah. um, but it's, uh, just, <laughs> everyone uh, has armor, and that's yeah. just I just want to know who's making all this armor for people. <laughs> I guess the same people who makes the costumes for all of them. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a lot, you know. There's a lot of stuff coming for E3. Like supposedly, of course, uh, the things we know about, like the Festa is going to be talking about Dishonored Two, uh, yeah. which I'm intrigued by. I, I I definitely am interested in playing more in that world. Yeah. Then. Uh, you know, everyone assumes they're going to talk about the more Fallout Four DLCs. Yeah. Um, and then like, uh, I don't, I I guess I don't know oh. if this was rumored or is it actually true that they're supposedly doing a, a remastered Skyrim. That's a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I, I don't or know not. if it's true or not either. I don't really know why they would do it though. I don't Honestly. know. Yeah, I mean, I, Skyrim looked pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I, the way I, I understood mean, it is like if they're doing a remaster the, and update it, they're and just bringing it to and, Xbox and, One and, and, and PlayStation yeah, Four, and also yeah, with mod support is the idea. Okay, well that makes sense, yeah. but I don't. I, they calling it remaster. I don't think it's the right term. Yeah. Making a version for Xbox One yeah. and PS4. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It's another market to tap into, yeah. uh, and they do that all the time. Oh yeah, but I wouldn't call it a remaster. It's not going to be. I don't think they're going to change it that much. I don't know. Well, I they would... may update textures and stuff, and yeah. you know, for how it four K support, maybe, yeah, but... that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, speaking of Fallout Four, though, you brought it up. Yeah. Um, this week something happened on the Xbox oh, One yeah. network. The Xbox. 
Uh, Fallout 4 was free uh-huh. for like a day. For it like was a day. Zero dollars, zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah. And and people were buying it. Yeah. And they got it and it free. Well, it got, um, it it was a mistake. Yeah, obviously, it was some it, kind of glitch, some kind of error. They put in the wrong price somewhere. <laughs> so it was taken back. Yeah. Anyone who bought it got it. It got revoked. Revoked. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Microsoft did give all those people ten dollars in credit. Oh, well, that bought nice. it um, for the inconvenience. We know you, we know you bought this for free. But yeah. here's ten dollars. Yeah, so I wish so I you did could, get something out of it. I, get, I don't know if I could, if it only for Xbox One games or what. If there's any stipulation, what you can use it for? Uh-huh. But I'd be like, man, I should have done it. You should have done it just to get the ten dollars. <laughs> um, just put towards something else. Yeah, um, but. At least they did something. I mean, they yeah. didn't have to. I mean, it's no. not like they lost money or and they got they got something for free that they shouldn't have gotten anyway. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like they they spent money or lost money or something. Yeah. It, they gave them as just as a hey, sorry we messed up here. Yeah, we you screwed go. up. Here's some money. Yeah, they're buying off people. <laughs> they're paying. Yeah, they're buying them off. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was kind of funny. And, yeah. Uh, it's what I forgot where I was going. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, that was kind of funny and amusing, and and just wait. I was just waiting because I saw the news about it. It's like, yeah, it's I was free just, right now, and then no. But they I was hadn't like, it's said get, anything yet. They're gonna. I um, I assume that like as soon as they the, it got fixed, people were gonna lose the copies. But, oh yeah. I mean, was I, it could have gone the other way. I guess I don't. I don't. But I mean, uh, it depends on how many people exploited it. <laughs> Fallout Four is pretty popular. Game, it's such a it's, good game. It hasn't been on Xbox One that long. Mm, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know I if thought, it came out. I well, it, it just got it. mod support. That's what it, it got was. mod support. I thought it, re- it was released yeah. at the same time. Yeah, as... I think it was. Well, now I think about it, yeah. yeah. Um, but it just got mod support. Which, speaking of that, uh, apparently there's people ripping uh, PC mods off, like to, to, for the Xbox. Uh, like the, what do you so, mean, like there's a mod on the Steam version. Uh-huh. You know, people oh, like made making it, their own. made it, and then someone else is stealing that mod and just basically porting it to the Xbox and then calling it and their then own. Calling it their own. Oh, yeah, it's a um, so that's kind of an issue right now because the mod community on Xbox isn't that. Isn't that it's big? new. It's, it's not yeah, something I mean, that's been happening, but it's been around for a while on you know PC for you know yeah, forever. basically since PC yeah, existed. It's always, yeah. It's um, always been since around. It's, yeah, it's PC gaming been around. There's always there's generally always mod for. Um, so there's kind of a standard. You know, you credit who. You yeah. know, you credit the people. Yeah, that even made if you it and, even if you use parts of their stuff, you always yeah, credit it. Or you're you know. just putting it up on again. Yeah. You're just you. You. Everyone's very upfront. Like I did not make this. I'm yeah. just putting up for people to get it. it. I'm sharing it. Whatever. But these um, people are actually taking credit. These people for are actually taking credit for something they didn't make. Oh. So. Yeah, they uh, stop if that. you play mods on Xbox, uh, s- figure out who actually made it and give them their thanks, not the people who put it on Xbox. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I appreciate yeah, them doing it, I, but they're, if they're taking credit for it, that's I mean, I don't, wrong. I don't blame people using it and not knowing because yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't really pay t- that much attention to who made mods. But no, but, it, but uh, if you really like a mod, you should support the person who made yeah. it, not the person um, who uploaded it. But there's always been kind of stuff like that. I mean, when like. There have been like mod um, versions, to, uh, launchers for Minecraft and stuff, and different ones. And some of them actually supported the people who made the mod- mods, and some of them yeah. were not. Uh, yeah, some there of them you one... paid for, and some of them, you know, if you donated to, they wouldn't. They weren't actually. They, they weren't were just using donated, the mods. Yeah, there was a, for a little while. I don't know if it's still the case. <laughs> I haven't looked at it in a while, but the, for a little while, the, uh, one of the mo- launchers, and I can't remember which one now. Uh, Got a lot of flack because they were taking donations, but they weren't giving any of it. Yeah, to none the of it was going to actual was, people who made the mods. It was a, that they were using. Yeah, it was a mod were, pack. Stuff. It was a mod pack. It was a launcher that in a, enabled you to use mods and, and support, use different had ones it built together into it and, and, and made it to be stable. Right? Yeah, and they weren't supporting it. They and, weren't. They weren't paying the people who actually made the mods. Yeah, they or, were making money off. Yeah, they it. were making money off it without yeah. paying the. I mod never donated makers. to any of those. I don't either. Um. I kind of see it as you know, if you you make mods to because you want to, um, and if you're out to make, I understand it as a jumping off point maybe to maybe work in the industry stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, well, but, you're generating content for for a game you don't own. Yeah, exactly. You so, you don't have the rights to make money off it generally. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I, most of the time it's donation. Yeah. Um, you and like Minecraft, it's all donation. Yeah. You don't have to pay for it. Exactly. Um, you just donate. I the I mean which if yeah. you you feel inclined to go for it yeah um 
I'm just excited about the, the potential stuff that's being on. Apparently, I just saw this today. Uh, Ubisoft has a new game, VR game. Of course, it's VR, so I don't know. I don't know if it's VR only, but it's a VR game called Star Trek Bridge Crew. Yeah, and it's being. I think it's like four players, and you're all you're all VR in varying VR headsets, playing being a crew, crew of a of a an of Enterprise. St- uh, yeah, Star Trek. Ship. Yeah, like a Starship like, Federation USS ship or whatever. Something. USS something. But uh, and uh, I, I that just like got me excited. Of course, then I got the thinking about it. If it's VR only, that means you have to have four people with VR a VR set. Yeah, but like, that's, you a, have, that's you know, a pricey. Uh, that's a high price of admission. I hope. It, I'm sure it's not just VR only. It's but, probably not. I mean, but, surely you, you can make some match, and some yeah. people can play VR. Some people. But still, are. it's really, really. Is it? You said cool. Sony. Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Okay, so Ubisoft's made. Mm. Okay, I thought you said Sony, so I was wondering if it was exclusive to... No, no, it was yeah. Ubisoft. Okay. Ubisoft. Okay, so it'll be in I'm VR sure, it, yeah, it, it'll, it'll be... It. I, I it. think the one I saw, they were all using Vibes. The yeah. picture was looked like... I think they were all Vibes. I'm yeah. not sure. Um, uh, just at a glance, I, I'm not, I might be wrong. Cool. Um, um, but, and... Yeah, I just I, I really the biggest thing I want to hear, hear about from E3 is like Red Dead. Is there another? Is it coming? Yeah. Is Red Dead is it coming? coming? Is Red Dead coming? Are they gonna do a remastered of the old one, of yeah. Red Dead Redemption? Uh, that would be cool. Would I be wouldn't cool. doubt it. I would. I would definitely if they really did a remastered of it on PC. I would probably definitely buy that. Yeah. Just to have it in my library because I have it on Xbox. And yeah, I have my it on Xbox, Xbox not even hooked on. up right now. The 360, by the way. Not, yeah, Xbox not 360. And. Um, uh, yeah, that's I, what I have. I, it on, I, I and... don't, you know, if I want to play it again, I have to go hook it up and get it set up, and I, it'd be nice just to have it in like my Steam library. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, they, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that. Yeah. Because um, you know, they're especially always if they released stuff. it before the second one comes out, so yeah. people will play it again and play the second one. Yeah. Um. Might be I, cool. I, yeah. All there. You know, we, a few a little while ago, there was all those, we had those rumors about Red Dead, so I assume it's coming. They're gonna. They, yeah. I, I just whether they announce it at E3 or not. Uh, uh, the, the rumor says they would. Yeah. So we'll see if all that's true yeah. or not. I'm ex- I don't know what day we'll get that, but I'm sure hopefully next week we can talk yeah, about we'll it. We'll be able to talk about that, all uh, the news, maybe a trailer or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I also heard that um, uh, Microsoft is apparently, the, supposedly, I don't know if it's just a rumor or not, but apparently Crackdown 3. Yeah. And, and I, I didn't play 2 because I, didn't play two. I played 1 a lot. I liked 1 a lot. Okay. It was a lot of fun. I played one, but not because I thought, "Oh, this is a good game." Oh, really? I played one because that came with the. That's how you got a, you got into the beta for Halo Three, I think. Really? One of the Halo games. That's the only reason you played it. So I bought. I got it to get the beta, and I'm pretty sure you did too. No. You didn't, I, no. You didn't get you. So you just no, got cracked down. Just I think to I did. Crack. They looked like a fun game. I remember. I think I watched Josh play it or somebody played it. Yeah, and I, I was like this it. looks like fun. And I got maybe it, it was just you. to just to uh, get the beta for one of the Halo games. Oh well, maybe that's what brought it in. I don't remember. And that's really I don't the only that. selling point for it was for me. And I played it, and I had a lot, a lot of fun. fun. It's a fun game. I mean, I, it's a basically it's an open of, world. Pol- Superhero police, yeah, force which thing. is ridiculous. And it's, it's not a great. I don't know. It's not a fully well ex- executed, but it, it's fun. It was fun. It was I, a lot of fun. I, I enjoy playing it a lot. And you had your like car you, that also upgraded yeah, with you, you had which your is low car, your or super whatever. car thing, which like grew and stuff. And then you got your powers, got bigger, and you, well, ran, you, you basically run around. Your powers, yeah. Point to, it's kind of it I, was fun. I, and they came out with a second one, which didn't have a new map. It was the same map. Yeah, I didn't. And understand I didn't understand that. that. And so that's why, and it just looked like a kind of a retread in a lot of yeah. ways. So I just like. I didn't buy it because I heard so much room, so much stuff about that. I was like, I just, it's the same map, and it's not a new city. It's not anything. It didn't yeah. feel like there was anything new, except maybe more story stuff. And I just, that wasn't enough to get me back into the yeah. game. And so it, I'm it, curious it to see what, what they do with the third one. I yeah. hope it's like a whole new city, a whole new story kind of thing, and yeah. a whole bunch of new stuff. Make and, some changes. Yeah, you know. make do, you know, give us something new. Yeah, uh, and so. Uh, it it was fun. I just you know I but I had a I don't know I don't know it was fun. But the main I just not I didn't buy it because it was cracked out. I bought it because I was, oh this could be fun. And I also get the beta for I think it was Halo Three. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember. It was one of the Halo games. <laughs> uh, which I don't think I actually used. I don't know if I actually used. I think I did mm-hmm. and played it like once or twice. But because at the time I didn't have great internet. So, mm. but yeah. Um. 
In other news, uh, so they've released, leading up to E3, the, today, I think, uh, the first images for the new Batman game. Oh, yeah, Telltale? Uh, from Telltale? Okay, I just want to say, I think the name is terrible. What is the name? The name of the game is Batman, the Telltale game. Uh, just call it Batman. Uh, yeah. Why does the name of the company making it have to be part of the name of the game? Yeah, because I know did, they're they doing the same it to thing distinguish it yeah. from the other one. Well, because I, I know why they do it. Because when you think Telltale, you think of the Walking Dead games, you think of like uh, the stuff they Borderlands. did. Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands. Well, you think of the stuff they did and how those games are that. And you you kind of have, when you hear Telltale, you expect a certain form. Yeah. Right? And so by saying, hey, this is Batman done by Telltale, you kind of go, oh, I like that. It, it makes it more interesting as opposed to just saying Batman. And I'm like, okay, well. A lot of people are going to think of the Arkham games, I and just this is not going to be the same thing. I just think they couldn't come up with a good name, <laughs> and so they're just like, let's just call it Batman, the Telltale game. And I think it's lazy. I really do. I don't do. know if it's lazy. I think it's lazy. I, think, I don't I, I have to disagree with you on I that. would rather just I'm, call it Batman or something else. I don't I, know. I think, I know, I don't know. I think it's, it's not bad because it's, and you know me, I'm picking about titles. It's not a great title. But... Yeah. It tells you exactly what to expect, though. It's not like it's not like it just if it had just been Batman and I I didn't realize who made it. I would have just been like, oh, is it not? It's not another Arkham game, but it's another Batman game. Why? How? I don't how know. I different? think everyone was but by, clear. by saying Telltale, it I immediately go, oh, I, I'm more interested because it's made by them and Thing that is, it's, it's going to be a different. That, I don't get that because I didn't play. I have never played any of the Telltale games. I played the. Um, uh, Walking Dead, the first episode of Walking Dead, a little. I bit. think I played the little bit of it, but not yeah. much. But it it was too like oh point here go here go well, here. Yeah, it was too streamlined for me, and I wasn't interested. I'm curious to see what it's going to be. Did uh, you say Borderlands? Yeah, they did Borderlands. No, they didn't. didn't. They did one Borderland game. They did one of the games. Yeah, I go mean on. Borderlands made by Gearbox. Yes, but Telco Games did do one of the board games. Did they Borderlands? Yeah. I'm looking this up now that we have internet. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they did. But uh, back to the images. Uh, the images they put out, they look pretty good. Um, it's yeah, the same kind good. of style that they always did. Um, uh, they, you know, that kind of cell shaded mm-hmm. thing. Um, it looks good. Um, it's got a very uh, comic booky kind of mm-hmm. look to it. Um, the pictures don't show much. They show Batman. They showed Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. They show Catwoman. Catwoman they which, showed the, the Batmobile. And the Batmobile. It looked cool. Yeah, which looks pretty good. Um, oh, they did do a... The see, Tales from I the Border d- game. Yeah, but that's not... When you say Borderland, you're thinking the actual they Borderland game. They did a game. Borderland game. It's, it's still... I mean, it's like okay. if you said they did Minecraft story mode, and you said Minecraft, and I'm like, they didn't do Minecraft. Mojang did Minecraft. Minecraft yeah. story mode, they did do. Yes, which I haven't played. But and they also get... Again, I never fight any of their games, so I don't... No, I've heard a lot of good stuff about like they're uh, very popular. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good stuff about the uh, the Minecraft game. I've heard a lot of good stuff about Wolf Among Us. They did that one. Yeah, and it's really good. They also did a Game of Thrones. Uh, they did Game of Thrones. I've heard really good things about it. Uh, so I mean, this they're is all the reason really, why they they well, were good. And that's the do thing. Batman, they're all but. like story heavy, kind of cho- make choose your own adventure kind of stuff. And that kind of I and I really cool. I mean, it's cool. And so, like, to say we're doing a Batman game in that kind of vein, it makes it different than saying just saying Batman. Yeah. Well, and if you look know. at all I of just, their I stuff... I think all... they could have come up with a slightly better title. I mean, all of them say, like, pretty much all the games say, you know, Game of Thrones but or But all of games. their games are re- either making... They're all based off other properties. Oh yeah, they're they're, like, they're all licensed. They don't have original stuff. They either do. They always do. Well, you they. Know, I think Wolf Among Us is a. Well, Wolf Among Us might and, be the only one that's uh, original. Let's see. What else do they do? Most everything else is I've seen or or stuff made by that are licensed stuff. But um, but yeah, yeah. But again, it like the idea is it. You know, it's like Minecraft story mode is like, and it, it says yeah. Minecraft story mode, a Telltale game series. Yeah. <laughs> game I, of Thrones. I, I get it. I mean, it's the, branding. It's the way they've it's always branding. done it. I mean, it's Batman, you know, Batman. 
the Telltale <sighs> game. They, they didn't they didn't try to come up with their own like you know the Dark Knight or anything like that or I mean, or like with Arkham the, the Arkham series they yeah, it was, you know Arkham, Arkham Asylum yeah. Arkham they had their name they they didn't try to come up with anything. they they just said it's it's Batman that's my problem we're doing Batman they didn't try <laughs> no but that, it's not like they didn't try they said it all we need is Batman they don't need any extra thing it's just well, Batman the Batman, the Batman part game. doesn't bother me <laughs> it bothers me is that it's Batman a Telltale game all of their games had they, that though uh, all of their games had that so why no does one, it bother you now no one's gonna call it because I it didn't don't, I'm not you. invested in any of those other things <laughs> it didn't bother you when Game of Thrones a Telltale game series came out Did, is it really yes. called that I'm, let me stupid. read this yeah. <laughs> Minecraft story mode a Telltale game series Game of Thrones a Telltale game series Tales from the Borderland a Telltale game series Batman a Telltale game, game series Walking Dead a Telltale Game series. They should not do that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Just Wolf call Among it what Us. it is. Wolf Among Us. A Telltale Game series. <laughs> Man. Okay, I get it. It's branding. It's, it's branding. Whatever. It's exactly it. I don't think you need it, but that's my opinion. And but it's it, I mean, wrong. but I mean, anyway. Bethesda's names on Skyrim and and Fallout. Yeah, but it doesn't say Bethesda. Uh, it doesn't say Skyrim, a, a Bethesda game. Well, it's, but it, it's not in the title. Well, but yet they also remember that they're all licensed. Yeah, so well, they ha- a, the only way they can get their brand out there that without you going like you don't look at Batman and say, oh, Warner Brothers and DC put this together. Yeah, but they didn't. You, well, you, they did. Yeah, they, well, I mean, but they didn't. <laughs> they didn't put this game together. They did a lot they of other stuff. They didn't make it. They just licensed. Or it like out, Minecraft. Yeah. If you saw Minecraft Story Mode. It would, you thought, oh, Mojang put out a new version of Minecraft. They did But the thing is... It's all I, licensed stuff, so that's the only way they get their name I out on it, top of these. It, I never heard them say Telltale Games on to- with it. They just said Minecraft, the story mode. I, I saw it. Yeah, I didn't, so... Uh, I didn't but, know they did but, that. But I mean, because so. almost all their games are licenses, so yeah. they have to, somehow. Otherwise, everyone can assume it's just their their own studios doing yeah. it, like Warner Brothers Games or something is doing yeah. them all. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, or you know, in or like Borderlands, you would assume that uh, Gearbox did yeah, it. Yeah. And did we already talk about the Sony PlayStation? We already mentioned. No, that. we didn't. Uh, the Sony uh, PlayStation. That, they're 4. not going to show it. They're not going to show it. But they're, they're not. It's they're, not going to make. It. Yeah, the Xbox's new uh, Scorpio, com- the upgraded the, Xbox One, is going to be at E3. Yeah. Sony's Neo, the. Uh, the four point five, the new version of their the, the Sony the PS four, yeah, is not going to be. It's there. not going to be there, but they announced, they confirmed it. Yeah. Um, XCOM two has a release date on consoles. Oh really? Yeah, they're it was on to sale Xbox. on Steam this weekend, and I yeah. almost bought it. Yeah, it was, was X- forty thirty three do- percent off. I need so to get it. It, it really was forty ducks. Um, forty ducks. Um, the XCOM two coming to consoles on September sixth. So P- Xbox one and PS four. If you haven't played XCOM. Yet. I you haven't. will get a chance. I haven't, to play. Played, yeah. I haven't played it yet, and it's I'm on a huge PC. fan, and it's on PC. Uh, and I, I may have to it. get that soon. I almost bought it this weekend because if it, it was wasn't for the mountain of games I'm not playing already, yeah. I would have bought it, and yeah. I didn't need to spend the money because yeah. I spent too much money already. But uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, it, it was only it was forty bucks over the over forty ducks over 40 the ducks, weekend, yeah. and so I almost bought it, and I didn't. I didn't. Uh, yeah. I need to get it. I re- I enjoyed XCOM. I'm uh, frustrated. I, I went on the Steam. Uh, I've been. Oh, speaking of XCOM, uh, I, I'm sorry. Am I? Cut yeah, go ahead. Uh, speaking of XCOM, so I'm trying. I'm trying to kind of put the, the idea in my girlfriend's head to play XCOM because she plays the The Walking Dead No Man's Land on a iPhone, which is a very basically a very simple version of XCOM. Okay. It has just a lot of the same mechanics. Okay. Except for the uh, the world gonna end element okay. and everything going into chaos, it doesn't mm. have that. But the whole thing is a base, and you go out and do missions. Uh huh. And that's basic. It's kind of the same and thing. And has a little grid combat it has gri- it's strategy a, a, thing. You know, turn based combat system. Yeah, that's XCOM. It's XCOM except with yeah, zombies instead of like aliens. XCOM. And yeah. and I was like, you can play. You this. know, this is the same game. And then she's like, no. Mm. She's not interested. Uh, she only it's plays this because harder, of, it, it's way harder. I bet XCOM is super hard. I, I, I may not. You should be get her idea. to play classic XCOM because then she'll just hate everything. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, she probably end up to, like hurt my computer. <laughs> she apparently gets really frustrated and angry with games. Oh. So um, I'm, I'm kind of getting her more, getting more into games. But uh-huh. she's playing this, at least a mobile game, so it's something. Mm. Um, but I, I just, I, I just think it'd be funny if mm-hmm. she played XCOM. All right. 
Um, anyway, what were you going to say? I, I don't remember. Yeah, some... Oh, I was looking at the Steam catalog, because I haven't looked in a while, and I got to look, and I, I got it, and I, I remembered why I stopped looking at it every day. Yeah. It's because it so wants me stuff. to spend money, <laughs> and I keep seeing stuff, and I'm like, ooh, that looks cool, and there was one game, it looks beautiful, and it, it's another one of those survival games, it's called, yeah. uh... The Solaris, Solaris, Pro- yeah, yeah, project. Mm-hmm. Have you looked at it? I think I've seen it. But oh, it's a beautiful it. game. Yeah, and I, a lot of those. I right was now. like, I want to play this. This looks so cool. And it just came out, and I'm like, it it looked amazing. I'm probably putting it on my wish list. Uh, but I I almost bought it. I, it was one of those things. If I had no, you know, as less impulse control than I have already had, I I don't have. Uh, <laughs> I would have bought it and played it because it looked one. It looked beautiful, and it's like this. You know, you're the lone survivor of a crashed spaceship. It's like sci-fi heavy yeah, and, and survival. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen oh, this. It I looks so good, that. and I'm like, and it just came out. And yeah, just, it looks interesting. I have, I have to, uh, half a dozen games I'm I'm trying to play right now, and I just don't have time. And yeah. so I'm trying to do, give up some time here and there for all of those. So I just like I yeah, have to wait. I'm the same same way. with Doom. I it just whenever one day when I have time. Yeah, maybe when it's, it goes on sale. When it goes on sale, by the time it goes on sale, I'll probably have time. But um, I don't know. There's so many games coming out all the time. There's a new so game good. I saw. that's not one in the mainstream. Um, I saw this week. I just watched the trailer for it the other day. Yeah. Um, called Far. Yeah, I saw have it. I was gonna. Ask, I was gonna talk. It's on, it looks fantastic. It somehow got deleted off my list, but it's, I did have it yeah, on my list. Yeah, Far. It's a side-scrolling exploration game uh-huh. where you're on a train-like. Yeah. Vehicle. All the oceans have dried up. The ocean is dried up, and you're exploring it uh-huh. basically on on a little train. And you got this little train oh, that you have so to maintain cool. and get uh resources to keep it running, and it got sails that pop uh-huh. up, so you uh-huh. think kind of sail. It's like a Weird sailing um, yeah. um, train. It, it looks, looks so. It's, it's beautiful. It's so cute. It's it's cute. It's, so, it's beautiful. It's I a beautiful like, game. This looks wonderful. It, I want to play this. It kind of reminds me of like um, um, what was that game? It was a side scrolling kind of black and white like uh, purgatory game. Oh, Limbo. Limbo. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, it I, kind I, of this. You know, not re- not not really, but the, I kind of remind because it's indie. I, I, yeah, it's, it's a side indie, scroller. It's side scroller. Know, best buddy. I that's like that stuff. I like that stuff though. That's a really yeah. good game. But this it's, one look interesting. Yeah, it does. And you got this little dude in a uh, orange suit thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on because we had nothing really to go yeah, off. Yeah, they have of. a trailer. Than, yeah, I watched the trailer. I'm like, I want uh, this. Why can't I get this right now? I don't know when it's supposed to come out. I knew nothing about it, and it, I want it. It didn't have a release date or anything on it, but no. uh, there, I was like, this looked great. I will be Apparently watching for it. Apparently, it's still in pretty early development. Yeah, I, I think so, too. But, but it does look really good. I think they're just generating it. does look really inter- good. It looks interesting. It looks, it looks cool. fun. It looks I, cute. Um, the it, art it, is nice. It, yeah, exactly. The art was enough, and the style of it and everything was yeah. enough to make me go, I want this. Yeah. And same, you know, of course, same the Solaris Project. Yeah. I just, I was like, I looked at it, I was like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. And the tone and everything, I'm like, I want this. Why can't I have this right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to do this some money and some time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Um, you got a drum beat in there. Yeah, sorry, I bumped my microphone a little bit with my hand. My knuckles yeah. ran across it, so it mm-hmm. a little beat. Um <laughs> Uh, also this week, uh, we talked about it a little bit before, the uh, logo for Kojima production. Yeah. They put out some more images. Yeah. Um, so we I saw more... Yeah, I saw it. I thought it was the same one, but you, no, you no, were like, no, we... it's a different image. I'm like, it looked good. I like it. Yeah, we have it. Yeah, different new images. Did we talk about it last week? The guy in the skull? I can't remember if we talked about it on the I don't show. remember. We talked about it, but I don't remember. If, I don't but think yeah, it was on the show. it's a guy in a space suit kind yeah. of thing. I and, assume and, it's a space yeah, suit. Yeah, I thought um, it was actually a skull, but you know, he's wearing a mask. He's wearing like a mask. Because you can see, like, his eyes sticking through yeah that was the newest image yeah because before it was just a profile and it was like a body shot and Mm. now it's like a close-up of his face and you actually see yeah um his eyes there is a person inside i want to i want to see what game that goes to and it had a uh uh and something like i i'll keep coming or i'll keep something like that so so i think they're going to put out more images who knows i don't i don't know it's Supposedly, I the the this word is that this has connection to their next game. Yeah, that's that's um, what so, we're thinking. So this might be the character you're playing, or, the or guy. maybe something you're fighting against. Yeah, who knows? Maybe. Um, it's something. It, it, it looks it's cool. It's probably years away because uh-huh. Kojima's just getting going. Yeah, yeah. it looks cool. Production's just getting going. Yeah, so I'm it's excited. probably mostly just concept stuff. 
yeah, I'm sure all of it's concept art, but yeah. it, it's it's what they're building off uh-huh. of. In this it looks cool. I'm excited about it. Came from the mind of Hideo Kojima is probably good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just curious because it's a new property that mm-hmm. you know it's not Metal Gear Solid, which yeah. I love Metal Gear Solid, but it's it's always kind of fun to see people who make certain games and a do game something different. Do something different. I want to see yeah, what I what it is do and some something new. Yeah, and so I think and he I honestly think now, this so. might be like as much as I like the Metal Gear games, this might be the best thing for Kojima. Oh, yeah. just to get I out and do his own thing, do and, something new, and do something fresh, and have fun doing something different. Yeah, and then it, maybe it'll, just the it'll prospect build into it something even. Being it might be something game. bigger, better, you know, yeah. and yeah, not limited by the well, story. Well, of, just the prospect of him doing a space game is yeah. immediately like because you know my I, I don't know if it's apparent how much I enjoy space games. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just it's pretty apparently I, if it's sci-fi and spacey, I'm yeah, probably gonna we'll at least, probably try look, check at least it out. look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll at least check it out. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah. yeah, next week it's gonna be interesting because we'll have to parse through all this E3 information that's yes, gonna come flooding out. Probably just be. We might have to do a big episode or something just to get through it all. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what there is, and then yeah, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. It's just it's. It's, maybe we'll have a, a special, a E3 or, special. Maybe I don't know. It's just us going through the information. I, yeah. I, it's going to be a lot. I think it may end up. Ju- we may just have to pick the stuff that interests us and go from there. Because yeah. even my list, I was making a short list of you know things to mention, and and even then I was just like I can't talk for all of this. Because you know the stuff like Gears of War four. I haven't played it since Gears of War one. Yeah, stuff I haven't. Like that. Play, I played a. Several of the Gears of War. Yeah. I can't remember which ones I played. I uh, might have played I, the second one. I, played, I don't think so, I, I never have played a special the third edition one. of one of them. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> I, it's stuff I, like that. It's just like new, you know, nothing, nothing really that new. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. It's just you know, it, I can't sequels. care. I can't play all the sequels to all the games. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. It'll be a fun. It's gonna be an interesting week. I'm excited. To, I'm. You know, I'm excited just to see what they come up with. Yeah. You know, what they announce, what what gets released. Yeah, so yeah, we'll talk about that next time. week. Uh, next week, if we can will be fit it all E3. in one episode. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we could. Uh, we might have to add a little bit. Maybe 30 extra minutes. 30 extra minutes? Uh, for a special. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think I want to talk that long. Yeah, we'll, we'll I don't find think out. Do you think people want to listen to us for an hour and a half? Well, they can always cut it off at the hour. If they don't <laughs> make, the yep, I'm done. Minutes. We're done. Hour's all I need. Here's the hour point. Uh-huh. If you don't want to listen anymore, uh-huh. stop now. Speaking of the hour point, I guess we're there. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Uh... Thank you all for listening. As always, please subscribe to us on iTunes and, and Google Play. That kind of lets us know who's listening. Uh, you can go to our website at deafandumb.com. It's D-E-A-F-N-D-U-M-B.com. And everything's there. You can find our episodes. and um, on t- You and can stuff. find us on Twitter and find Facebook. Find us on Twitter and, and Facebook and stuff. Our email yeah. and any other information. Any kind of way you want to contact us or listen or subscribe or whatever. Always all on there. Uh, I have a surprise in the work for you. But oh, I'm not dude. telling you anything about it. Yeah, you mentioned something. I know, about that, and but it's I don't still know it's is. still in the works. Uh, okay, so I'm but just one, one day it. I'm going to release. I'm going to show you something. You know, I'm, you, I hope you like it. Okay. Uh, so that's coming. I just will just tease about it, it a little bit. Happen. I know. I'll just tease it a little bit. Oh. But anyway, thank you very much for listening. I'm Dan May, and I'm Dudley May, and this has been Delphine Dumb.